The latest news here is that potentially the Northern Irish DUP party will not be backing this deal. What's your reaction to that? Well, uh, what we know is that we are dealing with a prime minister who, unlike uh, Theresa May, does not enjoy a majority, uh, even with DUP. So if even a piece of his uh, minority uh, uh, is uh, falling apart, I don't know whether he's going to be able to muster a majority to support this deal. So uh, we've been here before. So it's the second time that the uh, European Union strikes a withdrawal agreement with the uh, standing uh, British government. In this case, as I said, it's a minority government. We don't know whether there will be a majority. Certainly there was none on, uh, on the, the deal reached with uh, Theresa May's government. And I remain, uh, well, skeptical as to whether there will be one for, for this deal, but we'll see. Do you like the deal? Well, uh, we can stand behind it. So anyway, a withdrawal of the United Kingdom uh, in a negotiated way is better than a withdrawal without a negotiated uh, uh, deal. But uh, in any case, the withdrawal uh, uh, from the European Union will be a, a bad deal in the sense that it would be better, I think, for the UK to remain in the European Union. So uh, it's a lose-lose deal anyway. Uh, we are limiting damage. But uh, damage there will be anyway because, well, uh, united we are stronger. How um, prepared or what contingency plans might uh, Europe be making if there is actually uh, a no extension and a hard Brexit if Boris Johnson can't get this deal through the UK Parliament on Saturday? Well, uh if, they should, uh, if, if things should come to that, uh, we have done whatever we could to prepare for that, but you, you can never be fully prepared for, for an event like that. So it's going to be disruptive anyway, uh, disruptive for the U27, but disruptive uh, even more for the United Kingdom. Now, I'm not convinced that we are going to get there in the short run, because uh, I understand that legislation is in place in the UK to prevent that from happening in the short term. Then again, uh, I well, I expect uh, Boris Johnson to play foul here and uh, and uh, to play dirty tricks. So uh, he's known for that, and uh, I have little trust in uh, in the British Prime Minister. Why? I mean, he was able to get this across the finish line uh, with Europe. Uh, he is trying to work it in through the UK. So why don't you have the? Why don't you feel like you can actually get it done? And what happens after that? Because that person is, uh, has a track record, and I'm looking at the track tr record of people, and, and uh, his track record is that uh, if there's one thing he can be re relied upon is for being unre unreliable. So uh, uh, we will see. But anyway, again, uh, he's managed to lose his majority in a big way mm -hmm. uh, because uh, he, he kicked out 21 M MPs who, whom he will now need for having a majority. Uh, he has basically insulted Parliament for the last few weeks, uh, and uh, I'm not sure if you need a Parliament, the best way to uh, get it on board is to insult it. Uh, so the latest headline here is that the Northern Irish Democratic Unionist Party is saying that Saturday's vote will only be the start of a very long process. Do you back an extension? Yes, certainly. I mean, if the uh, official, uh, well, if the British government asked for an extension, I think we would be uh, stupid not to grant it. But then again, uh, at some point in time, a positive majority will need to be found in the United Kingdom for something. Because at the moment, we are negative majority, so we have seen majorities against Theresa May's deal. We have seen majorities against no deal Brexit, against all sorts of things. We will see whether there's a majority in favor of Boris Johnson's version of the deal, but I'm not sure there will be. Uh, and you can't continue like that. So, indeed, if an extension is granted, it should be used to find a positive majority, either for a referendum or for a general election or for a democratic process that leads to a positive majority, because, indeed, uh, we, we are stuck and we have been stuck for the last three years.